If you ever wonder if stainless steel frets wear, they do, quite surprisingly. This guitar's been played very heavily for 10 years, but the amount of diveting, you can see if I can get the right reflection on there, is very mild compared to standard frets. But these are stainless steel 6105s, so 10 years of hard playing on a warm moth neck. Very mild diveting, a couple areas. But that's what a stainless steel frets hold up very well. But that's not what we're talking about. We got a high fret that we're going to knock out today, or knock down, I should say. That's on the 11th, and you can actually see, before I even get to the level, I may just try to tap this sucker down. And you can see, oh, come on, focus for me, buddy. A little bit of gap under that 11th fret right there, which is starting to raise up. Quite a substantial uh, fret buzz, playing that note. So, we're going to do some homegrown stuff today. I don't feel like spending a lot of time doing it. We're just going to try to tap it down a little bit, see if that knocks it down. We'll see. Nothing more exciting than knocking out a high fret of on a Sunday morning at 6 o'clock in a cold-ass garage. What else would you be doing at this time? Anyways, purpose of these videos is to do shit yourself. So, watch and learn. Let's get to it. Knocking down a high fret. So like I said, we're going to knock down a high fret. That's on the 11th right here. And you don't need all the fancy tools in the world. You need something with a straight edge. Now this is an old neck plate. And it's actually cut really nicely on the uh, bottom bottom side of it. I can use... <laughs> I can use this sucker to verify that. But I know that thing from Steer Mac is cut perfectly. So, but you should be able to hear that little tap. This is nothing new to anybody, but I mean that's a hell of a rock on the 11th. More so on the bass side, and transitions a little lightly to the treble side as well. I also have one down here, which I'm not too worried about. I don't play. That's the dusty end. All right, but this sucker is the one that we need worry about today so we don't need a lot of fancy tools to do stuff we got our little mallet hammer a little rubber made craftsman looking thing all right i'm gonna take that 11 thread and we're gonna tap from the center or i should say we're gonna tap from the treble side out to the base side a little bit just ever so lightly on this now this this neck is resting on a uh, weighted sandbag which is for working out which is Pretty full of sand, so that neck's very well supported. Let's see if we can get a little tap on there. We'll start off lighter. This is a little uh, odd working around a camera, but we'll do it. I probably didn't knock it down for shit anyways. I think we're going to be a little more aggressive. I'm going to try to avoid le leveling today. That's why we're just doing it a different way. But if I have to level that single fret, I will. Right. Let's see. The point of making this video is so you don't have to take everything to a somebody. Learn to work on your own stuff. And I had different methods of doing things. I'm just using the general method first, which you may not think it is, but you can take it. Let's see. Don't ever want to hammer too long in one spot in the fret. These are stainless steel, so less likely to get a little warped, but I've installed frets. Uh, making a little bit of progress there, not much. Yep, starting about, that's a little flat right now. You get about halfway over, it starts, yep, right in the middle of that neck, starts rolling over and tapping, so. Get a little more aggressive. I think I may end up having to level this, we'll see. Yeah. And we'll give it one more. Actually, we'll go wide mallet on this one. Yeah, these are hard plastic ends in here, so. And there's a lot of support on this neck, so. String off the side a little bit there. Okay, trial and error, right? Yeah. We'll do one more. It was worth a shot. We'll do a little more aggressive this last time. Let's see if we can get her down. Didn't really have hopes of doing this too much because, like I said, these are stainless steel. They don't, I don't like to move too much. So. 
Alright, last shot. Yeah, looks like we're gonna be leveling a single fret today. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright, you know, every time I need to go find a Sharpie, I can't find one because my little six year old daughter always likes to come into this workbench and build stuff on here, which is fine. Until I actually need something. So, I found a uh, expo marker, which works fine to mark the top of that fret. I have a diamond file here. We're just going to take down some meat off the top of that sucker. Um, it's more so on this uh, base side of that fret, so that's what we're going to concentrate on. And we're not being very aggressive here. And this uh, diamond fret file is, has been used for many years, so it's not as aggressive as it used to be. But I'm just going to take a little meat off that sucker. level that fret regardless but all right let's see how we're rocking so it's not extremely high but it's already tapping less you can see that I can a little bit goes a long way so better to make 50 damn strokes than Five super aggressive ones. More aggressive on this corner here. And it is really cold in this garage this morning. My damn hands are freezing. And it's like six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. What else am I gonna be doing at six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday? Oh, almost there. That's perfect. So we're going to concentrate just shy of halfway across that board over. Okay. Let's remark that again here. Tell myself where to stop. Really don't need that fret guard, but, or fretboard guard, but we'll do it anyways. So this file is not super aggressive anymore, so I can be a little bit aggressive with it. Oh, that's good. We are about at our dot. Right past our dot on the base side is still a little high. The rest of that's good. All right. Just past our dot, we'll mark. Concentrate in that area. So the lowest E string was the most noticeable anyways. Bring a little turd. Now we're we'll starting making our sanding or our leveling a little bit shorter in time and frequency. Uh, just barely right there. Working its way down. Give a little love to that last little bit. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a, a diamond knife sharpener, by the way. It's 20 years old. It's not even a guitar tool. Just a touch. Just, just a touch. That last little bit. We almost there, ladies and gentlemen. If you really are watching this entire thing, I commend you. I'm just recording it just because I'm bored. Down to the outside edge of that fret. I mean, we do down to the last little piece. Mm. 
Um, I think we're about good. Nothing there. Still got a little bit of touch right in the middle. I'm going to go back and get that. The rest of that's good. Where is that? Tiny rock somewhere in there. Be patient. Maybe I was just imagining it. I'll flip this other side. Oh, we're good. All right. I am going to take this over one more time just to go straight with how the strings would, of course, slide. Just to get some of those deeper scratches out. All right, and we didn't take barely anything off of that, so recrowning is not necessary. Uh, barely even created a flat spot on there, but for good measure and for purpose of making a video, I guess we'll just do it anyway. All right, we're gonna use that rounded back side of this, and we'll just take that down until we see a thin blue line. Working on this idea. This isn't rocket science, guys. It really isn't. Hey. Cold hands. I think that line's pretty uniform. All right, so that's that. Let me go ahead and get out the rest of my stuff. Stop the video for a second. And we're going to polish up that individual fret. So. All right. I have my evolution of grit. I'm going to start off lightly with a three, 320. Then i got to jump to a 600. But of course, going to go in the direction of the strings bending. You don't need to go too aggressive. It's going to get some of those bigger scratches out. Lighter is always better with sandpaper. And so I can see some of those cross striations going away with our 300 or 320. And I'm pressing very lightly on this. All right, 320 is gone. Let's do our six. And we go a little more aggressive with this six. Actually, the six and the eight are the ones I'm going to be the most aggressive with. Nothing like watching a video of somebody sanding a piece of metal and talking in a very nasal voice. Okay. Some deeper scratches on that base end there. We're going to get rid of those. Pop up to our eight. It's an old piece of damn sandpaper shit. Hell, I've had the sandpaper probably since I built this guitar ten years ago. Cool story on this thing is, I'm not going to quite tell it yet, but I built this guitar back in 2011. Had to sell it in 2013. Built it in memory of my dad. Tracked it down on YouTube. 
Ended up in Columbia, South America. Got it back about two weeks ago. And it will not leave this time. So we're just addressing some small issues. There goes the eight. Let's go up to a thousand. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm making sure to hit the edges of that fret too, where I did a light little bit of crowning on there. Or the sides of the fret, I should say. And 2000, just because, why not? If you got it, might as well use it. I'll probably go back eventually at some point and do a slight leveling of all these frets but I mean it still plays really good even with that slight divoting on the higher frets there or the lower frets I should say so it's not really needed yet but, but this fret buzz on this fret was killing me all right Washed up. It's nice and shiny just like the rest. I don't think I have any scratches on there. Huh. Alright. That's that and of course we've already checked that level of that next to its adjacent frets, but just for shits and giggles. It's perfect now. All the way across. Here you go. I'll end up polishing out even a little more, probably. No reason to keep on recording, but she's good to go now. Oh. One last thing. You don't need to buy fancy fret polish shit. Still will work just fine. Normally I would tape over the uh, pull pieces on the single coils there, but we're just going to buff this up. Double-lot steel wool is cheap. That damn pack of that will last you a lifetime worth of fret polishing. Don't waste your money on shit. Some stuff, yeah. Simple guitar stuff? Nah. Come on. Anyways, that's our fret leveling. A single fret today. To eliminate fret buzz. Thank you for watching. Have a great fucking day.